Deputy Cabinet Secretary Joe Musheru has launched a scathing attack on Deputy President William Ruto, terming the DP's so-called wheelbarrow economics as a cake. In a thinly veiled salvos, the CS accused Ruto of allegedly misleading young people with empty promises. Musheru, who was attending a youth event of the National Council of Churches at NCCK, also criticized the recent Court of Appeal decision on the BBI. Chemutai Goe now reports on what has become the first direct response to the DP's politics from inside the cabinet. With the deputy president hogging the limelight over the recent BBI judgment, the ICT cabinet secretary held no punches, tearing into the DP over the now controversial bottom-up approach economic model and its signature tool, the wheelbarrow. We have had some people promising you analog solutions as part of a new economic blueprint to bring you prosperity. I am a student of economics and I do not see how the successful economic uplifting of our people can be carried on with outdated solutions. Though he never mentioned the DP by name, Musheru's unusually bare knuckle tackle also targeted the churches, which he accuses of allowing the pulpits to be used as political platforms. These churches have been silenced by, say, massive donations from politicians who have been gifted with the pulpit to preach the gospel sometimes of division and to nudge citizens towards a class war. These Bible-waving politicians have especially targeted the youth because they think wrongly that the youth are gullible and easy to manipulate. Musheru, who spoke as he opened the National Youth Conference in Lemuru, sponsored by the National Council of Churches of Kenya, urged the church to stand and be counted. You must expose these peddlers for who they are, snake oil salesmen who will go to any extent to gain political power. But the deputy president who spoke in Naivasha appeared to downplay the attack. I do not wish to respond to those uh, who are uh, criticizing what we are doing because we believe that uh, criticism is not entirely a bad thing. At least they are recognizing that we are having a conversation which is good enough. CS Musheru says the government has already put in place many initiatives aimed at the country's youth. My ministry is responsible for ensuring that amongst other things, the youth are equipped, empowered, involved and protected with the aim of making themselves reliant and creators of jobs, not just consumers of jobs. Musheru's comments came in the wake of renewed political activity in the country. Following the collapse of the BBI process at the Court of Appeal, he accuses the seven-judge bench of allegedly usurping the power of the people. Judicial activism took care of that. Yet we saw some leaders fervently thanking God the Father for the adverse court ruling. It is a classic case of not seeing the forest for the trees. The whole issue was politicized and anchored as a power hunt rather than a noble development initiative that would devolve more funds to the people. In 2019, Musheru was among cabinet members who had a brush with the DP of an alleged assassination plot, the latest attack only adding to the growing rhetoric between the DP and allies of President Kenyatta. Chemutai Goin Citizen TV.